Prof. Alote loved the environment and nature. And I believe, I want to believe he also loved uh, the creative arts. Um, so at this point, I'm going to invite a poet to give us a performance. Um, Mr. Albert Tete, if you're here. Oh, yes, there he is. Albert, the floor, the floor is yours. <laughs> significance who at all installed these negativities onto our mindset that has downplayed our creativity and innovative power has been played in a negative sense who at all did this to us as Africans but before I go in further you know the young African will do well and will grow up so well if only they get to understand the uniqueness of their roots and one of our majorly exceptional roots is professor Francis Kofi Apenin Aloti, a professor of mathematics and nuclear physics. Prof, you know your formalism has actually been a technique to determine that matter moves in outer space. But Prof, you know what? In this very day, the youth majority are out of space. What actually happened to our processes? The matters of this very life matter so much to you, Prof. But today, it doesn't matter to them anymore. I beg, wait in be the matter. This also really disturbs me as a young African, you know. But let me tell you something. Wherever Prof. Alote goes, whenever he lands, you all know Buga. He doesn't land softly. He lands mightily. He's always the first and the best. The first and the founder, the first director of the ICT center of KNUST. The first to bring in computer education in Ghana. He was the first and the best in everything he did. Professor Francis Kofi Ambinin 
Aluti. So I tell you, when the storylines have been twisted, how will the younger generations know if these stories are not told? How will they grow and grow up if they don't have the firm stem? I tell you on this very day that I don't mind if you to take us, putting our all and even our life at stake to make sure that we stake the younger generation of today so that they can climb higher, grow up and shine the brightest. Let us make it happen. We want to hear of the stories of these very greats of our own. Or what happened? Did Ajete, Odate, Kelamti, did they take the shine away? Oh, why can't we throw more light on our grades when Ajete, Odate, Lamte, Hello, I make a Lamte Ete? No. Prof, me no care. Did you hear him? Oh, he did. He said, Ike Konoko. That's why he's smiling. But I pray and look forward to a new Ghana and a new Africa where the stories of these very greats will be closer to us in our very books, where the younger ones will digest these very stories and be inspired to do greater significant projects in this very society of our very own. We are young. We have come far. And we will go far. So I look forward to that very new Africa because Osaji Fu once said, the revolutions are brought about by men, men who think as men of action and act as men of thought. Osaji for you again said that we must unite now or perish. Osaji for you again said that our freedom will be meaningless until it's connected to the total liberation of our African continent. Osaji for said, how many times do you want me to say Osaji for said? Even Osaji for story is not being heard. You see, I want us to play a Ludo game. But before we play, sit and watch me, choose your colors. I want to tell you that Ghana once played a Ludo game. And in that Ludo game, Ghana played six. And the next one, it was a loss. One six and loss. Yet Ghana won the Ludo game. This is the stories of our big six. And after them, we can't proudly talk about anyone. Aloti. Hey, Prof. Pa, Professor Francis Kofi Aloti. Aloti, once again, me no care. So, I look forward to that very new Africa. That very new Ghana. Where these stories, once again, just as we read, Aloti found treasures in reading books. So let the stories inspire. Let these stories ring in our minds. Let these stories carry us far. We want to see these stories in our books. Books, even at the basic level. We want to read these stories and be inspired to do greater work. So I will be gone, but not for long. Anyone that comes and takes the microphone on every platform, tell them a younger one arose. But he didn't arise alone. He called for a united front of like-minded people who would change the negative narratives of Africa. Aloti did. The light is not being shown. That is why I ask. Did Odate, Ajete, and Lamte, Ameke Lampe, Tiana? If they didn't, then where he stopped, where our great stop, let me proud to push it together we will make Africa proud. So on this note, join me to chant the name of Prof. Aloti three times. Aloti, Aloti, Aloti. You didn't even do that. Are you not proud of him? Then why are you seated here? But I know, irrespective, directly or indirectly, there is an awakening. And when we go, we'll make sure that the light will be shown on them. And tomorrow, honorable, if we do that, it means one day your story will be told. Their stories will be told. Mine will be told too. Then the generations will know of the downs, the averages and the ups. 
so that this generation will not repeat the negativities of history in all activities. We've come far once again. We will go far. Thank you. And on that note, I would like us to um, have a minute silence as we reflect on the poem, but also in honor of Professor Alute. had one encounter and I was thrilled and I you know looking forward to um, learning more about how we can also bring change as young people um, and be the change that we want to see in this world 